when you hear the left say, this is about tolerance, this is about inclusion, this is about compassion, you say, yes, it is. It's also about safety. It's about reality. And it's about women's rights. The idea that a biological male can come into your locker room at school or come into your bathroom at school um, just because he says he's a woman, just because he claims that that's his identity, that's pretty scary. I know it's scary to me, and I'm not even the one that's in high school anymore. You guys, I mean, do you want do you want males in your bathroom? No. And the boys, it's not the same physical threat to the men, but I, I would say the men in this room don't want females in their in their locker room, in their bathroom either, because it's a violation of privacy. But for women, it's not just a violation of privacy, it's an actual danger. So in, again, this is not hypothetical. So in Loudoun County, Virginia right now, they had instituted a gender neutral bathroom policy in that in the school district there against the wishes of a lot of parents there. And what happened is a male who wore a skirt and said that he identified as a female, went into that bathroom, and he sexually assaulted a ninth grader, a 14-year-old. He sexually assaulted her. And then when the school found out, and I know I can see the looks on your on your faces, this it you should be horrified. This is horrifying. And the reason that it's okay to be horrified right now is because we have to understand the severity of what's happening in order to know our own strength in fighting back against this. So when the school was notified about this sexual assault, the father of the girl who was sexually assaulted came to the school. And as as you might imagine, he was irate. He was devastated for his daughter and he was yelling. Uh, He was yelling profanities, as he should, at the school administrators who facilitated a policy that allowed this to happen. I think any good father would do the same thing. Um, And the school called the police on the father for shouting profanities instead of calling the police on the rapist. The rapist was allowed to go back to school. And he committed another sexual assault after he was allowed to go back to the school. And this wasn't handled. It wasn't handled until journalists at the Daily Wire broke this story last week. Last week. This happened months ago. This is, the, this is an example of the transgender ideology. So when, when you hear the left say, this is about tolerance, this is about inclusion, this is about compassion, you say, yes, it is. It's also about safety. It's about reality. And it's about women's rights. It's about protecting women. We can be tolerant and compassionate and inclusive of everybody, no matter what mental health status they have, while also protecting women.